Oh, hello, uh, hello, radio amateurs and uh, shortwave listeners. Because I do know, I do get some shortwave listeners on my Kiwi, which is really, really satisfying. But yeah, um, just a quick status update, really. So uh, this evening, um, I've been working on my 6B TV. Um, not actually putting more radials on it yet, but the first thing I've done um, was to improve the resonance of the existing bands. Now, this manual uh, that DX Engineering provides, it's an absolute godsend. It's just so good. Um, and this is the section that I read uh, on trap calibration. So I've done this for all of all of the traps. I think the only one I didn't move was 20 because it was good enough. Um, the rest of them started with 10, 15, 30 and 80. I've adjusted all of them. And uh, this is the result. So you'll see that 30, um, the 80 meter band is really specific. Um, in that I've got it tuned down to the FT8 frequency. Now I do, do know that the FT8 operates in a split mode, so the, I think the, the transmit uh, location will be slightly different um, as it goes into the upper sideband, but still, um, it won't be too far out. Um, and I'm really happy with, with the results. Um, this is like all five bands are incredibly resonant. Um, not so, so resonant, but you need to be careful here. I need to say the SWR readings on the five bands that I have, or six, I have, yeah, uh, is a six BTV, um, are all very good. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. So it's just a short bit of work, a little bit of measuring the movement. Um, this, this tilt base, again, was an absolute godsend. If you're thinking of getting um, a 6B TV, I can really recommend uh, the tilt base. Um, when you come to the tuning stages and putting this up and down, it just makes life so easy. Um, so yes, uh, get, get the tilt base and get the radial plate. Um, they're, they're just brilliant bits of hardware. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've gone through, tuned each one. And then if we have a look at the uh, SWR measurements. Here we go. So I'm getting an SWR in the center of the 40 meter band of 1.43 and a return loss of 15 decibel. So to me, because this um, antenna doesn't have a 40 meter element in it, um, it's the resonance from the, uh, the other band, I think it's the 30 meter um, coil that produces the 40 metre resonance. So please do let me know if I'm wrong. I'm always happy to be corrected and I'm, I'm learning. So I want to know why it causes that. But I think it is the, the 30 metre band um, that causes that. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at, uh, I mean, this dude, I think the more interesting chart um, for the SWR measurement area. You actually see it so yeah on the 40 meter band the SWIs down in the um, Morse data modes so again I, for telephony I do use um, tend to use my Kenwood and the uh, uh, NVID antenna um, that's what it's there for tends to be using the 7300 on uh, data digital modes and uh, listening but there we go, so we can see that. Let's see if I can change the frequency. Bear with me. Let's start with 10. You can see that, you know, that's the frequency you should start with because on, on the 6V TV, as the instructions say, start on the 10 meter band and then work your way up because the 10 meter band affects everything else. And as you can see, I've got it not too far off bang in the middle there. Oh, I didn't want to do too much uh, fettling on it because um, this is a precursor to obviously putting more radials down. The whole purpose of getting this as, as close to as good as I can get um, 
will be to understand this um, so the capacitance and the resistance and by putting more radials down increasing the I believe it's the the capacitance and more and that's basically saying the antenna is performing better that's my understanding so yeah so let's have a look we got the all parameters a lot I love this screen now I didn't know how to use it before I mean I'm just learning here because uh, my my, my uh, fellow amateur radio operator uh, Tex um, was kind enough to run me through this last night so resistance capacitor uh, capacitance and the z factor so i want that as closest to 50 as possible i believe i double check but anyway um th this is where i'm going to be working on uh mostly i'm interested in, in 20 meters so let's see if we can't change that to 20. bear with me all parameters on 20. what do we get there so currently we get um, R is 39.5, X is minus 8, and Z is 40. So yeah, that would be interesting. So putting more radials down, we should see those figures change. Um, I'm going to cut the radials for, even though they're on the ground, um, where I think the, the length of the radials doesn't affect it. Um, when we have a, a 6B TV elevated, and the radials come away from the uh, ground plate to the ground but then the, the, the radials then have to be the correct length so what I'm hoping for here is just by cutting them to the right length and then rolling them out um, I will reduce or make these figures better and increase the performance on 20 meters because um, the thing I love most at the moment may change but the thing I love most at the moment is uh, SSTV um, for that 20 meters is the band um, does go on to 80 at night um, I'm not sure whether my antenna will now tune to that but I'm not too worried 20 is the important one for me um, at the moment uh, so yeah adding more radials down uh, for 20 meters and uh, so quarter wave 5 meters all there in um, we'll see how that affects the performance uh, how we go but yeah um, we'll go inside and do some uh, FT8 for performance and see how the antenna is getting out obviously then I'm up to the uh, mercy of the elements and uh, the uh, conditions uh, but at least it will show that the antenna is getting out and uh, we have a low SWR measurement but here we go. Uh, we're in a good place now to. Uh, let's have, I'll just show you the, the radial plate. You can see the ones that are on there already. Uh, but if you look to the left hand side, all of that is empty. So all of that will be populated. Uh, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I count there. So I'll have 16 times 5. So of uh copper going down just for the 20 meter band and see how we go uh, it will be quite exciting to, to to see how the science works in uh, reality hey thanks again guys and girls i hope you're enjoying the um, radio as much i am and uh
Hello and uh, welcome to part two of this exciting two-part <laughs> antenna video. Um, so I'm coming to do some uh, FT8 for testing. Uh, it would be lovely to pick up the microphone and do to do some telephony and make some contacts. But um, this is what FT8's for, in my opinion. Um, checking signals and... Uh, Getting reports back. Um, I'm not the hardcore uh, FT8 I once was when I was on my foundation and limited to 10 watts, but I think it still has a purpose. So, um, I'm pleased to say that the antenna's working um, really well. Uh, here I am on 30, 30 uh, meters, um, it's tuning one to one on the FT8 frequency, and I'm getting out all over the world already been been heard in the in Australia and I've been heard on the west coast of the United States and naturally everywhere in Europe so um really pleased with that let's see if I'm, anyone's uh going to be give me a a, a cue say yeah it's just looking uh, very promising look at that just just flooded in almost uh, Feel bad uh, changing frequency. Um, what do I do? Uh, do, do, do say, was I want? Uh, can we call that a pile up <laughs> in FT8? I don't know. Anyway, let's see if any of these guys come back. I'll at least try once. Uh, so DK, that's going to be into Germany. Let's see. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, Let's have a look at the, uh, as we can see, um, still absolutely no SWR on uh, 7300. Um, power's going out. There's uh, no, no compression. ALC's good. Why do you, yeah, ALC's not too bad. Three bars is about okay, but yeah, as you can see, the power is just totally going out the antenna. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's uh, FT8 for you. Just uh, I'm gonna do this uh, uniform Tango to India Papa. He's been really patient, waiting for me to call back. So let's do the honours and then um, I'll change band uh, to 80 metres uh, to see how we get on there. So um, I'll tune the antenna as we saw earlier. Um, the 6BTV is really really specific on frequency on 80 um, and that was the big selling point for me of the Nebula. Um, it was a full band 80 metres. There we go, we've done our job here. Uh, let's go to 80, B573, clear this all out, noise level's a bit high, probably going to miss a few calls when I'm being uh, over modulated, but okay, let's wait a second and make sure we're not transmitting over someone else, there we are, find somewhere else. there we go, caught the end of our decode, so that's good. Right, let's uh, tune away. Might need to adjust the ALC in the power here. But let's have a look at the, uh, look at that. In, there's just no SWR uh, at all. And uh, yeah, no ALC. Let's see if we can't put the power up a little bit more. Or the ALC starts to complain. There we are, up and down, modulate. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sure people know this, but when you have an ALC that's like that, I don't know if you can see that from here. When you have an ALC that's like that in FTA, you're bleeding everywhere and it's not nice. And you want the ALC to be one or two bars tops. There we are. 
There we go. There we are. So we've got 